Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 119. and We're going to be going over the Special Menu Items module. The Special Menu Items module is a simple module that allows you to add non-standard menu items inside your Drupal 7 site. Non-standard menu items could be something like a separator, such as a horizontal rule or a couple dashes. It can also be something like a container, which isn't really a link, but allows you to have items inside of that container that are links. Before we get started, as always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Find me on Google+, and go to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter. Today's sponsor is Drupalize.me. If you have not checked them out yet, you really need to do so. They have a whole bunch of free videos. They have a whole bunch of really great topics on learning Drupal and jQuery. So whether you're just getting started or whether you want to learn some pretty advanced topics, go ahead and give them a chance and take a look if you haven't already. If you do take a look and decide to sign up and become a member, use CK20FEB to get 20% off. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a simple Drupal site here. As you can see, I have a, the main menu displayed over here. It's also displayed up top, but you'll see in a minute that we're probably not going to want to keep these links up top. It uh, just has three menu links right now, just linking off to three different pages. And then, of course, the home page. And I have the special menu items module already installed. So we'll take a look. As you can see, I'm using the 7.x-2.0 version. You can click configure here, and you can use the HTML tag that's that you want to go around anything you specify as a no link, which can often be used as container menu items. And you can also have an HTML tag to go around the separator uh, tag, which is just a separator between different menu items. You can also select what kind of value to be displayed as a separator. So you can, right now it's using a horizontal rule. You can also, add, if you wanted to add a bunch of dashes, whatever you wanted to do there. Let's go ahead and start adding some of these items. So as you can see, here's what it looks like now, as far as our menu items are concerned. I'm going to start out by adding a container to put these bottom two links in. So I come into my menus. I'm going to go into my main menu and click click list links and I'm going to add a new link. If you look just on the surface it doesn't look like anything's changed. Everything else every, everything looks pretty much the same. However if you read the description here you'll see that you can enter no link to generate a non-linkable item or separator to generate a separator item. This is similar to being able to use the front tag to go to the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and create a link title, I'll just call it our story. If this is a simple business site it might be appropriate and I'm going to do a no link path here. Just using open tag, no link, and then close it off. And this is going to create an item that doesn't actually have a link so we can use this as a container. I'm just going to go ahead and save this and now I'm going to drag these two items inside of this no link menu item that I created and let's take a look at this. As you can see it doesn't start expanded so we want to make sure that we can actually get to the items or see the items that are inside this container. So we're going to go ahead and come back to our menu, go to main menu and we're going to edit this and click show as expanded. Now when we come back you can see that it's expanded. I can't click this because it's not a link, but it does allow these container items to be linked. So I can get to any item inside here, but I can't click on the R story. And this allows you to theme this container as a little bit separate entity or se separate item, menu item, than these sub items. So you can theme it where you have a nice looking menu with a nice container wrapper kind of sitting outside of your main menu items. We're going to go ahead and add a separator as well so you can see how that's going to look. Just give it a title, it doesn't really matter what the title is. And we're going to use the separator tag. I'm going to go ahead and save this. 
I'm going to put the separator right underneath the home link. You'll see initially it doesn't look very clean, especially with these list items, but a lot of times you're not going to have these list items on your menu. So if you want to go ahead and get rid of those list items, I'm just going to show you how you could go about doing it. And I'm going to go ahead and go into one of these LIs, find this UL menu LI. I'm just going to override this here. List style image none. And I'm also going to add list style of none. Now you can see it already looks quite a bit better. The separator actually looks like it fits in and of course you can change that to whatever you want and you can theme that to be any type of separator you want. If you wanted to use a specific image you could load that in there if you used a different tag. It comes with a unique class of separator so of course you can do what you need to using CSS to make that separator look however you want and of course you can do the same thing with the container which is the class of no link. So using that you can theme these or style these differently and make them really stand out. That's really all there is to the special menu items module. It's really simple and it just serves one simple purpose but it can be very useful for building out dynamic menus where you need more than just a standard menu item. As you can see up here in a horizontal menu it doesn't necessarily work as well in this case but if you have a vertical menu like this you can build some pretty cool looking menus with this module. So go ahead and give this module a try. Let me know what you think either in the comments on Code Karate or on YouTube. Thanks again to Drupalize.me for sponsoring this episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.